In some ways, yes. I mean, you can see that the skies are a lot brighter over South Africa today, but uh, there is transfer. It was the first ever um, black captain uh, who raised the trophy, Sia Colisi. And one of the great uh, stories of this uh, World Cup is the fact that himself and Rassi Erasmus, the coach, they came from the same place in Port Elizabeth, but obviously on different sides of the tracks. But then again, there they were united in the team. I think the transformation is, is gradually coming. I think it may be take another couple of World Cups uh, before it's complete. But uh, certainly uh, it was something to see Sia Colisi raising that trophy over his head on Saturday. And people were out on the streets here. People were everywhere you went. People were waving flags, dressed in, in Springbok jerseys. There were parties everywhere. You only had to walk down the street. Someone would invite you in for a drink. So uh, it was indeed uh, incredible times. And this is a country that uh, really needs a, a Philip like a World Cup win at the moment. As you know, on uh, Friday night, we missed by the skin of our teeth, another downgrade from Moody's, the last investment uh, grade, last uh, ratings agency keeping it an investment grade. If that had happened, that could have been real problems. Billions would have flowed out of the country. Already the currency has taken a bit of a dive. And last week, we had a pretty grim uh, medium-term budget full of cutbacks and uh, curtailments in government spending. So uh, I think that uh, hopefully this uh, World Cup win will put South Africa a bit more on the map uh, and uppermost in people's minds and particularly, hopefully, foreign investors. Um, Chris, just on that, uh, you, you mentioned a tale of um, economic woe. I caught up with the, um, the central bank governor um, and he's under a lot of pressure to actually do more, more on the monetary side. Um, no prospects anytime soon, though, of rapid cuts in interest rates, it seems. Yes, I mean, I, I think because the way the Fed is going as well, the influence um, over the uh, the interest rates here, it's likely that there, there could be an interest rate cut. I mean, uh, Lesetch Kanyaho, the uh, Reserve Bank governor you're referring to, he's, he's always been under pressure. People saying, no, you should be creating jobs. No, you should be uh, having uh, more social impact with what you're doing in um, managing inflation and running the Reserve Bank. Um, but um, Sir Ramaphosa, who we've got coming on to CNBC Africa tomorrow, Tomorrow morning, um, he uh, and uh, Kenyaku himself, they say that it's gonna, the Reserve Bank's going to maintain its independence, uh, which is good for the economy. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.